Um, the, your media change maker program, this is something I'm always interested in because it, it, it tells learners or it teaches learners not just, you know, to, to, to be, to sit back and, you know, take, take life as it comes. It, it, it also makes them aware and it makes them storytellers in a way as well. Tell us about that. Our Media Change Makers program has changed, uh, trained over 500 learners and youth mm. to become content creators in a way, mm. to reshape and retell issues about issues affecting them in their communities, mm. to become storytellers, to tell the, the narratives of their community through digital resources and mm. technology. And, and of course, you know, when it comes to corporates and government, there's always a lot more that can be done and also a lot more that can that can happen to also create change and change that will be long lasting of course do you think there is enough support from both corporate and and government we do still call for a collaborative responsibility from government from stakeholders from corporates from civil societies to all take responsibility for creating an environment and a country where the youth are prioritized, where the youth are empowered, and to really reaffirm what the youth of 1976 pr protested for mm. and ensure that digital technology is used as a tool for dignity, for equality, and quality education. Mm. When we talk about historical disadvantages uh, in education, um, how does your disability inclusion exactly work, um, you know, especially now in this day and age? Disabled learners, as you know, are often marginalized and forgotten in society. Mm -hmm. So our school Africa believes in bridging those educational gaps by using the iPad to leverage these tools and offer disabled learners an individualized learning path, no matter their disability, no matter their social economic um, circumstances. So iSchool Africa really believes in inclusion, no mm -hmm. matter who the learner is, no matter where they are. Mm -hmm.